The way to get rid of tension is to do just the opposite of all the things that cause it. Hello everyone, this is Igor from Ichiban Painting and today we're going to be looking at two techniques to do some uh, zenital OSL. First thing I need to say is that you need to assemble the whole model before doing this technique. If you don't assemble it all, that technique won't work. So this is what we're seeing now, it's a technique more for people that want to do that kind of effect of uh, zenital OSL but using a spray can if you don't have an airbrush. I'm, I'm using an airbrush now but let me explain. So first of all, you're gonna base your whole model. Uh, you're gonna base coat your whole model black. Then after that, you're gonna split, take a primer, a white primer or gray primer, and you're gonna shoot it on top of the model, like I'm doing right now. The only difference is I'm using an airbrush, but a spray can is the same thing. So you're gonna create a base coat for your color by a primer coat for your base coat that's gonna have a graduation in it, which is actually gonna give you uh, the opportunity of doing your base coat with your brush after, but it's gonna have some shadows already in it and some highlights already in it. So it's gonna make your job a little bit easier when you're painting it uh, for the shadow and the graduation, and it's gonna it's gonna give a good you know natural effect because the you know it's really gonna be uh, zenital uh, spraying, so the, the top is gonna be highlighted more. So here you can see the, the model and what it looks like when it's done, but not done, but ready for paint. Now moving on to uh, with an airbrush, okay? Because it's a little bit different. On the airbrush, you don't want to really use that primer technique because it's a little bit like pre-shadow, but for a miniature, it doesn't, good, doesn't give a really nice effect when you're shooting, when you have your airbrush already. So when you have your airbrush, first thing I do is I prime my miniature with black primer and now we're going to do the ultramarine scheme. So what I'm using is midnight blue, so I'm shooting the whole miniature midnight blue, giving, you know, pretty good coat, not too thin, not too thick, just, you know, a good coat because this color doesn't really matter. But if it's too thin with the midnight blue and the black, it's going to, you know, look a little bit uh, purplish. But depends on your color scheme that you're going to be working, so you need to be careful with that. Okay, once your, uh, your uh, base coat is done of midnight blue, you want to go in and shoot, like you see right now, I'm shooting directly from the top with my ultramarine blue, okay? Is that when you, and now I'm going to sh show it to you in this, the, previous, the next segment, uh, what it looks like when you shoot directly from the top. So you see that now I'm shoot, I shot directly from the top and as you can see on the, the camera right now, it looks really good when you look at it from a you know, 45 degree angle, but from this angle it looks really bad, it's too bold. Uh, you know, the transition is not smooth, it's too aggressive as a transition. So basically what you want to do to avoid this is that when you're spraying, instead of spraying directly from the top, you want to go directly from the top but then right after instead of being like this you want to go at 45 degree angle you see how my airbrush is positioned right now this is going to go pick up the details that are under the model uh, a little bit like for example the back of the legs or the knees of the models and stuff like that and a little bit on the chest side it's going to give a smoother transition okay what's cool about this technique as you can see right now it's finished right but you know what's cool about it is that you can do it as as you want it's still a pretty you know aggressive transition that i have now and aggressive shadows if you don't like that you can you know bring down your airbrush a little bit more and, and give a little bit more color to it then it's going to smooth out that transition it's not going to be as aggressive as it is right now so it's really up to you as far as what the kind of effect and what is your painting style but basically the technique is is this you know a lot of people have been asking for it so here it is, that's how I do it. And now, I wanted to bring a little bit of extra step for you guys. Um, now we're going to be doing a second highlight actually. So you don't need to do that, but if you do want to have more focal point on your model and, and catch the eye a little bit more, what I did right now is I took some electric blue and I'm shooting electric blue on certain parts of the shoulder pad, 
the power fist and the head just to bring a little bit more of that you know like a eye catcher attention but you don't really need necessarily need to do that it really depends on the color scheme that you want so I'll put pictures at the finished model might not finish but put pictures of it at the end of the video and then you're gonna be able to see it a little bit better this was Hugo from Ichiban Painting hope you, you enjoy the video if you have questions drop it in the comment section I'll reply to it as soon as I can and I'll see you on the next video cheers guys for watching Thank you.